fuck. <laughs> you know what? I am leaving that in the video. It is perfectly fitting that a notification sound effect would go off the moment I start recording this. Because guess what ladies and gentlemen, this is the second time I'm recording this probably 30 to 40 minute video because the first time I recorded, the worst thing that could happen to a YouTuber that's a gamer, you beat a boss fight and you had the wrong mic selected. So I had the wrong mic selected so you guys couldn't hear my voice at all. But anyways guys, I'm here with my backlog challenge guys. This is where I beat all my old games that I haven't beaten so damn long before I could buy any new games in 2016. So Battlefield 1, all the new stuff that's coming out, I can't beat it till I beat my backlog. So right now we're going to try to beat Tales One of fight Sophonia. After another. Here we are with the Demon last <laughs> boss fight. Right. So guys, we know that the game is the band, band, so you guys don't feel the music too Demonic much because the audience is getting just really loud, but I want to show you what the battle system is like. Oh, 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 basically oh, either oh, audio oh, battle system where I have the computer oh, demon, demon, to control all the or I could do it fully manual right. where I control my characters, attacks, healing, and all that stuff. So that's how it's gonna work. So right now we're gonna go ahead into the last boss room and go kick the boss's ass, experience the end of the game, and what should be an absolutely great end to a beautiful game. I love this game. I think I highly highly would say this is one of my top favorite games of all time like, I'm not saying it's in the top five but it's, it's up there it's up there guys just don't be noted don't buy this game on PC this first came out on the GameCube it was running at 60 FPS then it went over to PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 came with the first and second game because there's a sequel to this here on PC the PC ports absolutely trash it has so much freaking bugs and problems frame rate issues jittering and it might actually make you sick so yeah guys for a game that could take 50 hours to just play the story mode alone, over 100 if you complete this, you want to play it on a platform that's going to run a little bit better. And PC right now ain't that platform, but still, I'm having it on PC, so I'm going to play it where I have it. So let's get into the end of the game and enjoy the story and say bye to another game for my backlog. So we can move on next to probably Dragon Age Inquisition. Home. I'm going home. Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. Wow, this sounds so bad without the music in the background, actually. I probably should, I probably turned it down a way a little too much, but I already recorded this once already, so I guess I kind of already messed up and I can't go into settings right now as I'm playing to make the music play. Please return the Great Sea to us so that we can reunite the worlds. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. Ah! This game has one of the most in-depth endings ever. Like, compared to all the other trash I've I been playing right now. I need to right thank now, you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. Like, the first person shooters that I'm having issues with this, uh, how bad the ending concludes, no real wrap up. Let's just say like after beating this boss, they make sure you understand how this all played out and why did you go through this journey. Just watch and see guys. I'm finally myself again. Damn, so that's what this was all about. Damn notifications. Let me turn this damn thing off. Who is notifying me if anything? Mythos, Martell is already dead. That's not true. Martel is alive. Just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? Also, guys, this is not like a remastered version of it or anything. This is like basically an old game just upscaled a bit. What? After all, in our bodies flow the bloods of humans and elves. The bloods of those that despise us. We're better off casting aside such filth and become lifeless beings. That's what you really want? Of course. Watch. When you become a lifeless being, you can even control your appearance and growth. Creepy. Everyone should become lifeless beings. I told you before. The only way to eliminate discrimination for everyone to become the same race. 
Like, that's some creepy, crazy ass shit. That's one of my favorite reasons to like Magneto because understand what you're saying as a bad guy. You had a really hard time, people discriminated against you, and you're trying to save your people. And I understand what you're saying, like, you know, hey, eliminate racism and discrimination by everybody being exactly the same. But then you're kind of eliminating all the differences between peoples, and that's kind of fucked up, and that's kind of crazy. We don't need to all be the same race, yo. <laughs> what you hope for is nothing but a dream, Mythos. Discrimination comes from the heart. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination. Looking down upon others while placing themselves too high. Alright, before I tell everybody, in chat right now, if you're watching this, guess how old the little girl, or the one, the girl, guess how old the girl with pink hair is. If you had to guess, how old do you think she is? You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Come on guys, write in the comments, but don't let me tell you yet, write how old you think the girl with pink hair is. Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimination will continue. Then where should the half-elves go? We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open because we couldn't do that. That I... that we wanted a place of our own. Uh-uh. Sorry, but don't act like you're the only victim here. It doesn't even come close to justifying all the things what that the you've fuck? done. I thought I turned this shit off. Let me turn off the damn thing. Off. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? Alright guys, how old she is, if you guys are writing down your answer, she is 28. Yup, that is JRPs for you. Japanese RPGs just have all type of crazy naming co aging conventions. That little pink hair thing is 28. It makes sense from a story point of view, which you guys will find out if you guys stick- Well, you guys missed a lot of the story, obviously, but they explain People later can on. change, even if they don't change right away. Months, years, as time passes, change is inevitable. Maybe not everything can be forgiven, but one can try to atone for one's sins. Can't you feel it in your heart? The God... Do you think I'm gonna beg for forgiveness? Ridiculous. There is no goddess, so I will continue to pursue my ideals. If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings, then the only thing left for me is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. There's nothing anyone can do. Alright guys, let's get into Holy this. Lamp! Oh, he's on a pod. Demonic Tiger Disappear. Oh, we got some people who's hurt right now, so let's do some items. Let's give her up some health and help is on the way. Disappear. Thank you for that healing circle. At the same time I get healed, I get hit right back. That kind of sucks. Disappear. Oh, oh, not again, not again. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Help is on the way. Ha, ha. Healing circle. Thank you for that ha, ha. heal. Disappear. Ray. God damn, this nigga come. Oh, my God. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Oh. Ready? Lance. Purify. 
Thank you. Power seal. Demon fang. Here we go. Hurricane thrust. Demon fang. Demon fang. Photon. It's ineffective. Demonic circle. Absolute. Ready. Ha! Ha! Sonic Sonic Hellpire! My sister means everything to me. Demon! Thank you for anyone get in my way. But I'll revert this entire world back to nothingness. Disappear! You betray the world just for your sister? Disappear. None of you understand how I feel. Okay, Mr. Wanna smack me in the face with shit? You're the Here, one who disappear. doesn't understand. Retribution! Ha, 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 ready? Ha, ha, Tiger Blade! <laughs> Thanks. Love ya. Get him off. Get away from me. Not the face! <laughs> Not the face. <laughs> this guy's funny. Get away! Oh, well, he needs health. He needs health. He needs health. Um... Uh, this gives 100% of the way. Pretty good. Help is on the I mean, like, at this point, it's the last boss fight, so... Is it time to use it? This is the time to use it. Here you go. My dream of a world for <laughs> my sister and me. It's not over yet. No, it is not. I turned on the music just a little too much, man. This is a problem when you like you record stuff twice. Ha! Ha! Pretty good. So I do apologize for the quality of this video. Ready? I, I still want to show you guys that I freaking love you. Alright, hold on. We need to clear these effects, man. Because right now. Um, there! So I can use my damn skills. Let's do it for her as well. Here! Help is on the way! Healing circle! And her as well. Here you go. And actually, you know what? Let's actually have some fun. Because I've already played through this already. Why don't I just make everybody be auto? Let's let the computer play through this. And I'll just do it from... I'll just change up my attack. Because what you can do with this game, you can just pick your tactics and how you want your people to attack. And... Don't pursue. So we don't want don't pursue. And we're gonna have her do support. Attack at once. At once. Alright, there we go. Should be fun. Let's see what happens. So I set up my orders. Let's see how that computer takes those orders and try to beat the game. Ready? Field barrier! So it gives everybody some barriers. Demon light spear! Super lightning blade! Ready? Acuteness! Uh. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Demon Ta Cyclone Lightning Tempest. Tempest. Demon Spear. Here we go. Here we go. So special. Oh, I missed the special. Damn it. Ha. Disappear into nothingness. Ha, ha. Demon ha, ha. Hurricane Ta Tempest. Hellfire. Martell. All right. All right. There we go. Exogem Max. Successfully prepared miso stew. Mmm, so good. I need something to eat. Actually, what I should have done during the fight, I should have turned up the damn audio. I forgot I could have did it during the fight. It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the Crystal. Mythos. I'm tired of playing your game of good and evil. Hurry up and destroy the Crystal. If you don't, Darius Carlon will continue to drift away. 
Mythos! Do it now. Before I... too... am no longer myself. Lloyd! Please! Help him! By killing him. Let him For die good. while he's still himself! Alright. Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world, so I don't regret my choice. I would make the same choice all over again. Your choices were fucked up, dude. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. I understand why you did them. I mean, the viewing audience, unless you guys play this game before, you guys might not, but they were great choices. I will continue to choose this path. There's also anime if you guys want to go check it out. You could have... You could have lived with us in our world. And then the two swords become one. It's probably a good thing I didn't actually have the music up high. Who knows? The music could be copywritten. The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? The sword grants wishes, just to clarify that. Restore the true form of our two worlds! Now we get some anime cutscenes. Looks like the Oreo Boradalis. I think that's how you say that thing. You know, the Northern Lights. That's another word for it. Oh, that beautiful blue globe. Are we back? What's going on? Your wish is coming true, but at what cost? This actually just shows me like how far technology has gone. What are you all doing? Man, graphics has Your wish up is granted. Game. this looks bad or anything but there is no link without a link the land will die the shit some NES games still looks great for their time and even now it looks good enough what are you talking about but I'm just saying in general look at like, the textures of the floor but like now if you like playing a RPG even a JRP like no the grass textures would be just more filling than they just be splotches the mountains will be a little bit more defined. Technology has come a long way. It's a good thing. The world was originally separated into two in order to prevent its destruction. If it returns to its true form, the world lacks the manner to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a giant tree. 
That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. We need to awaken the giant Carlon tree, right? I get it. Lloyd, quickly! You have to bathe the Great Seed in the mana of Daris Carlon before Daris Carlon disappears! Alright then. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Daris Carlon is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Do you still intend to try? Yeah. Even strengthened by your Exphia, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. Sacrifice his life for the planets? Well, if you've seen Lloyd do that this whole entire game, that's not a choice he would not do. He's like, hell yeah, fuck it. Here for the world. It's not working. The man is being deflected. The great seed is. <laughs> and wait! Don't go! Here's Please a wake up! Anybody who has not seen this game before. I got wings, yo. <laughs> Man, I could like imagine a full remastered what the globe would actually look like. You see the water, the mountains. Oh, he has some help as well. It looks like Darius Carlon stopped moving away. Yeah, but why? The Eternal Sword is gone. The Eternal Sword! Thank goodness! This is my final wish. Eternal Sword. Please, awaken the Great Seed! I beg you, please wake up! Please! Rise, giant Carlon Tree! Man, this just shows how much effect music has on games. I played through this with the music so high, and now I'm playing through it with that music so low. It's like, it really shows that music really does give the vibes on what's going on. Without the music, it's like something's missing for me. The emotional attachments that this, the soundtrack, the score had, is kind of gone. Like, maybe you guys can hear this music right now, but... I'm using GeForce Experience to record this, which has some of the worst audio settings ever. Makes mics sound bad. That's the reason why I had the wrong mics selected in the first place. But still, my fault, so I'll take the blame. As well, like I was saying before, compared to the first person shooters I've been playing as late, and their crappy ass ending, like this game goes in. Like it's not like a little two minute quick cutscene that tries to wrap up the whole entire story. Nope, they got a full out anime cutscenes, in game cutscenes, and I'm a little, little another spoiler. If you wait after the credits, they even go back and show us what happens to the world states after all this. So after all this shit happens, they try to explain what happens next, which I was like, okay, that is awesome. Like, where does the world go on from here? We just did this great awesome thing. We just made this witch. What does it happen to the people of the world? What happens to the crew? And I love seeing stuff like that. I love when games try to say, like, yes, after you beat the final boss, after, like, everything is supposed to be good and happy. Well, if you were just trying to, like, what do people think about you just saving the world? Is there discrimination still exists? Like, and they try to address all that stuff after the credits. And I think that's absolutely amazing that they do that. In fact, I'm not going to upload it in this video because the credits section is quite long and you can't skip it. But I'll have it uploaded in the second video on my second channel if you guys want to see it there. Or just YouTube it. I am a new 
spirit born to accompany the giant tree. And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. Yo, if trees could grow like that fast in real life, world hunger would end. <laughs> it is only a small seedling in its current state. The tree will wither and die. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. As long as those conditions are met, I shall always protect the seedling. I promise, if the tree ever starts to wither, I'll make sure we won't let it die. Then, Lloyd, on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name, as a proof of the pact. What? The giant Carlon tree was planted here by the elves when they first came, as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Lloyd, pick a name for us. A name for everyone's tree. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Okay, I got it. This tree's name is... So that has been Tales of Symphonia, one of the greatest RPGs I have ever played. I love the ending and yes there is more after this long credit sequence. Once again guys, I really do highly recommend if you were somebody who played the original game and for some reason walked away during this part because you couldn't skip it, I recommend you guys go ahead and watch the rest of the video on YouTube somewhere or I don't really feel like recording it again because this video is already long enough and it's the second time I've done this. But basically, it explains what happens to these characters, what's happening to the world state, what's happening with discrimination throughout the world after they just completed and made the tree come back. Like, he restored the world to the normal state, got the tree back, but does that solve the problems and the discriminations and the hatred of in people's hearts? And that's some of the big state, like big themes in this game. This game is like such an interesting game to me that I played it when I was pretty damn young. It has a lot of religious themes, questioning like the religion in this game, what is real, what is fake, what is discrimination, what is love, what is like a lot of things that I think a lot of games these even these days for RPGs don't stress very well. Like I mean, I just played Witcher Three. And it has a hint of like, you know, discrimination against witches, mages, but I don't even think it addresses it as well as this game does for the half elves. Like, it's just so funny, like, like a game such a long time ago on the GameCube could just have themes and just be played out so well to me that even games that come out this year in 2015, 2016, it's 2016 now, but the last few years don't even address these themes so strongly or so impassioned. I really just hope that developers keep on pressing forward and making games that make us emotionally attached to the characters, like really make us care about the characters well-being, where their lives go after completing the game. So anyways guys, BK with the Untile Game Show, I'll be back with more video guys, video game videos for you guys every single day. Sorry about me messing up speaking, but I am so sick, I'm trying to fight through it to talk about games, and like I said, this is the second time I did this damn video. Anyways guys, if you want to support, have a new fan funding, check it out from clicking the little icon at the top right hand side of the video. Peace out guys.